His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa participated today in the closing session of the fourth summit of the South American Arab countries, the ASPA. Chaired by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud at the King Abdulaziz Conference Center in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. The Secretary General of the summit, Abdulaziz Al Sakr, delivered the closing statement in which he affirmed the importance of achieving a peaceful solution to the Palestinian cause, according to the resolution of the international community and the Arab peace initiatives that aim to achieve an independent state with Jerusalem as its capital. He also stressed the necessity of achieving a peaceful solution regarding the Syrian conflict, according to the Vienna meeting, in addition to resolving the crisis in Yemen through implementing the Security Council's decisions, especially Decision 2216, and the supporting of the political dialogue in Libya under the umbrella of the United Nations. Participants expressed their rejection of any interference in the region's domestic affairs and emphasized the necessity of respecting the unity and sovereignty of countries. The closing statement also requested Iran's response regarding UAE's three islands, Tum del Kobra, Tum del Sugra and Abu Musa in accordance with the United Nations Charter and the international law, in addition to intensifying international efforts regarding nuclear threats. Participants also agreed on condemning all forms of terrorism and encouraging investments for its major role in social and economic development. They also stressed the political support of Arab and Latin American countries through the UN General Assembly's Resolution No. 60 of Clause 319 regarding sovereign debt restructuring. Participants welcomed Venezuela's hosting of the next summit of South American Arab countries and expressed their thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques, Saudi Arabia's leadership and people for the warm welcome. Custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, expressed his thanks to their majesties, royal highnesses, presidents and leaders of the delegations for their participation in the summit. Earlier, His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa participated yesterday in the opening session of the fourth summit of the South American Arab countries, ASPA, held at King Abdulaziz Conference Center in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. On arrival, His Majesty was welcomed by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The Saudi monarch delivered the inaugural address, followed by speeches from Egypt's President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, the chairman of the current session of the Arab League, the interim presidency delegation of the Union of South American Nations, the Arab League Secretary General, and the United Nations Secretary General.
His Majesty the King addressed the fourth summit of the South American Arab countries, ASPA, held in Riyadh yesterday. In his speech, His Majesty expressed his pleasure in attending the summit at the kind invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Majesty also expressed his sincere appreciation for the warm reception and the kind hospitality that he always enjoys in the brotherly kingdom of Saudi Arabia and offered his deepest appreciation to Peru's president, Olanta Humala, for his unrelenting efforts during his presidency to enhance ties between South America and the Gulf Cooperation Council, which has had a great impact on the progress of joint cooperation. His Majesty the King asserted that the first summit, which was hosted by Brazil in 2005, constituted a launch pad for multilateral relations between Arab and South American nations and determined the broad lines and main framework for the utilization of the historically deep-rooted bonds linking these countries and their people. In addition, it set convergent views and stances towards many issues discussed at regional and international forums and organizations. His Majesty added that a decade after the creation of the important assembly, he was fully confident that the summit would achieve its desired goals in consolidating and intensifying joint action in various fields, especially the big strides taken as a result of constructive summits in both Doha and Lima, which serve as a solid basis for further fruitful cooperation. His Majesty said the complex conflicts and worsening crises plaguing the Arab world were caused by external interference in the internal affairs of Arab countries and noted that the serious effects and negative repercussions of these interferences are expanding and affecting various countries across the globe, directly harming international peace and security. He stressed greater efforts and closer cooperations were required in order for them to be confronted and resolved, adding that the continued Israeli aggression towards Palestinians in the occupied territories necessitates more action to prevent further deterioration of the situation. His Majesty the King said that adequate protection must be provided to the Palestinian people to, prefer, to preserve the Al-Aqsa Mosque, to end the Israeli occupation of Arab territories, to stop settlement activities and to establish an independent Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital, according to the 4th of June 1967 border and in accordance with the legitimate international resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. His Majesty went on to express appreciation for the position of the countries of South America in support of the Palestinian cause. With regards to the situation in Yemen, His Majesty said it was moving steadily towards achieving the aspirations of the Yemeni people, affirming that the Arab coalition would continue its role until the restoration of security and stability in Yemen was achieved, including an end to all forms of outside intervention and a long-term political solution between all parties to ensure the achievements and the aspirations of the people of Yemen for further development and progress. His Majesty the King stressed Bahrain's commitment to providing various types of humanitarian assistance and called on the international community to intensify its efforts in this area. He also emphasized the right of the United Arab Emirates to restore its sovereignty over the three islands occupied by Iran. His Majesty voiced support for all efforts that safeguard the freedom of people of Syria and Libya to choose their future through building independent political systems that maintain the unity and independence of their countries, protect their territories from terrorism and extremism, and work for further development, progress and prosperity. He said he looked forward to increasing trade between Arab and South American countries, adding that the achievements of this goal would not only contribute to the flow and trade of investment, but would also lead to the emergence of strong economic grouping, with huge potential and great elements for the international, for the international competition. His Majesty the King stressed the importance of expanding official meetings into a forum commensurate with the size of the historical and cultural Commun com communalities among Arab and South American nations to include all political, economic, cultural and social aspects with the participation of everyone from politicians and businessmen to intellectuals and thinkers. In conclusion, His Majesty the King expressed his full confidence in the success of the summit to reach the desired objectives, including efforts to achieve common interests and meet the aspirations and hopes for a brighter and more prosperous future. 
His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa took part in the first closed door session of the fourth summit of the South American Arab countries held yesterday at King Abdulaziz Conference Center in the Saudi capital Riyadh under the chairmanship of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King also attended a dinner banquet held by the custodian of the two holy mosques in honour of their Majesties and Highnesses, the heads of delegations participating in the summit. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Defence Minister in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the sidelines of the Arab South American summit and explored with him the strong fraternal ties. His Majesty commended constantly growing bilateral ties in all fields in the interest and welfare of both countries and people. The meeting then discussed the agenda of the summit meeting. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today a work meeting with a number of deputy premiers and ministers regarding the kingdom's general economic trends. His Royal Highness directed to adopt agendas that enhance Bahrain's ability to contain the decline of state revenues as a result of financial challenges and makes it proportionate to the drop in oil prices. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the Kingdom's honourable achievements and the positive development strides it had made over the past years and decades, including achieving acceptable economic growth rates, maintaining very low unemployment rate, bringing about a quantum leap in many vital economic sectors, developing and modernising all infrastructure and ensuring easy financial and consultation for small and medium-sized enterprises, as well as continuous pay rises in the public and private sectors. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then reviewed the latest developments regarding the steady decline of oil prices in global markets, stressing that the issue requires the highest level of professionalism in dealing with it, so as to adapt to the current situation in a way that does not affect the citizens or the ec economic and social gains that have achieved that have been achieved in the past. His Royal Highness emphasized that in order to deal with the requirements and nature of the coming phase, effective policies and steps are needed to increase revenues, reduce spending, create new economic activities and encourage investment in various economic sectors to protect the national economy. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa patronized today the inauguration ceremony of the third edition of the Gulf Forum for Political Media, organized by the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, the BIPD. The Deputy Prime Minister stressed the importance of the media's role through spreading the awareness of combating terrorism in order to maintain global peace and security. He added the Kingdom had managed to set an example of unity among its citizens and the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister praised the BIPD's hosting of the event for the third consecutive year, wishing participants and speakers at the forum success in delivering new recommendations for promoting the concept of civil peace using media. Impact, especially on media and social media, the new uh, media, as, as they mentioned, of educating and uh, enlightening people and uh, bringing the truth to the people. Uh, although this is a positive side, but it has another negative side where people misuse this social media, misuse this freedom to uh, harm their societies. Uh, I, I think it's, it's important, as the recommendation mentioned in the Institute, uh, about uh, committing uh, of the truth, uh, mentioning uh, positive and negatives being transparency, uh, trying to involve all the society, uh, in rejecting the speech and the words of hate. Uh, I think this is one of the important factors. In, a, in, uh, in addition of that, we have Iran on the other side of the Gulf. They are not committing of anything. There are 52 uh, 
TV and radio channel uh, is focusing on Bahrain and the Gulf in a hostile way. 25 of them, TV stations, stationed in Iraq, supported by the Iranian, to attack or to uh, involve in Bahrain. And I think this is not fair. Uh, I think the other people must respect also uh, and, uh, and help in, in maintaining peace and, and, and stability in the region. Very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. Bahrain's duty-free shopping complex has reported a 23.9% increase in its net profits at $18,856,517 for the first nine months of 2015, while gross revenues rose by 4.3% to $57.2 million compared to $54.9 million in 2014. Company chairman Farouk Al Moya described the profits as excellent, while also paying tribute to the company's operational and investment strategies. The airport-based retailer also reported that basic earning per share rose by 24.4% to 16.1 US cents per share. Tamkeen, in partnership with the MENA Center for Investment, yesterday announced the launch of the latest edition of the Interlock program. The business consultancy program targets university students in their third and fourth years, in addition to recent university graduates, offering them the chance to gain business consultancy skills and equip them for future careers in the field. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,232.18 points, a decrease of 6.79 points below yesterday's closing level. The fall occurred mainly in the commercial bank sector, while investors mostly traded in the services sector, at a rate of 70% of total share value traded. Results show that 51 equity transactions occurred in total, involving a volume of 1,146,254 shares, worth 271,997 Bahraini dinars. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. The Bahraini national football team travels to North Korea for a training camp before the confrontation with North Korea in the Asian Cup World Cup qualifiers and the Asian Cup qualifiers, as the two teams will meet next Tuesday in their opening Group H match, where the, squ the squad will include 23 players as well as technical and administrative personnel. <laughs> 